which if we're playing it this way um well if historical off is it like full randy or just historical oh, it's full, off? oh it's full randy oh you loaded in the full randy playlist oh all right well that means maybe i have a higher chance of not being schmucked well you say that but you also got to remember um there's a little country to your northwest that's across that uh, English Channel. <laughs> if they go King Edward, there's a chance they'll join uh, Italy or Germany. Yeah. Well, if they actually if they join Italy, it's, that's to your advantage. You'd rather them do that because then they, there's a chance of them to declare an war on you. Kind of slim in comparison to like if they go with uh, Germany, you're gonna have to garrison your coastline because they are gonna invade. I actually was just playing a Soviet game. I was using that Russia re reworked mod. Hmm. Surprisingly enough, I was holding. I actually was holding better than what oh. I usually do. But I, I like, I had, I was building like these military factories, like, like a god. These things were flushing out. It was immaculate. Um. I think. Why not should I start? I guess I'll get fighter ones right away. Drop tanks, keep one on motorized, get a bunch of guns. I'm pretty much just gonna make the assumption I'm getting ready for an all out war. I think if, if the ally, if let's say by a miraculous miracle, uh, Britain doesn't go communist, or doesn't go any of those things. Can I still declare war on Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia and have nobody attack me? Yeah, if you do the claims in the Baltics crap, because then it just, it gives um, the Baltic I know, but a, I've had times where I've tried to do it, and depending on when I do it, they'll still guarantee them, and if they guarantee them, I can't take them. Yeah, that's, I don't know, it's up in the air. That's yeah, because I've had that happen before, and it's been very frustrating. The last one I literally just played when the Allies went to war with, uh... Uh, what's their face? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. All right, I got twenty civs gonna get built. I gotta see what I can do. I'm just building a ton of uh civs. Anti-fascist. Oh, I could still join the allies as a commie. That's interesting. That's weird. Uh, hang on. Yeah, but I've had that issue in the past. It's been very, uh, frustrating. Uh, let's see, what was I gonna go for? Anti-tank, because yes, we're gonna need it. Focus on that, that, that. I wow. will be building the light tank divisions, those are a guarantee. I'm gonna need... Three of you bad boys on anti early on, just like... Definitely. Build. Uh... Um, uh, anything else? I'm definitely going down my far right tree, but I'll just disband my faction and join yours because I get a really strong bonus at the end. Alright. So what are we doing for like faster ship building at 200% or 600%? Um, we'll do 200. Oh, that one lives. Um, hang on. I gotta. I can do a fascist civil war. Eh, that won't be. Sway, what are you doing? Because if I want to go down the tree that gives me a good focus at the end, I'd have to do a civil war. Oh, uh, you civil mean destroy war. the counter revolution? Yeah, just because the last thing Egalite, Liberty, Solidarity. You get all those good parts. Conciliation. I shall do it. Also, because that revolutionary zeal, which is, ooh. Where's that at? Until then, it is time. Ooh, no early hull subs being built. Oh, crap. I do like the Russia rework mod. I hope um, Paradox actually gives that guy money and uses it. It's actually a really good uh, 
focus rework. Yeah, I know Russians. which one you're talking about. It's a great one. I love that one. I didn't. I, I tried it with Trotsky, but I don't like that Trotsky one that much. The solo one's actually built really well. Although I think I'm pretty much ready to go. Hopefully, right. um, we'll see. What are you ready? Uh, I'm good to go. All right, jumping to speed four. I'm immediately doing the purge. Because, uh, are we restraining AI? I'm I'm highly recommending it. Yeah, since we're doing majors, we're not doing little expansion. Um, and we'll do halfway increased resources because I always do that one. It's a little bit more fair. It's it's enough to it's enough to make it interesting, but not so much that if somebody gets it, it's not going to make them OP. Remember, if you ever need rubber, come buy from Fram. I actually don't ever buy rubber in this. I don't buy rubber until, like, um, I know I'm going to be building up. Like, right now, I'm only using it for two of my planes, fighter, and a strategic bomber, and then three trucks. So, I don't care enough right now. I don't try speed five. Let's see where she goes. Yeah, you're like a day behind. We'll just fly through these beginning months. I am getting the infrastructure set up towards Finland, so if I declare war on them, I can get them. And I'm assuming since, uh... Yeah, I don't care about... I don't care about Khrushchev. Khrushchev can die. Am I allowed to remove this agreement? The Matano agreements? I do not know. Oh, shit. Alright, that's perfect for me. <laughs> Okay, this is this is interesting. I like this now. That's a it's a rather weird one. I didn't think they'd do it. Oh yeah, we went down to speed three. I'll just go to four. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, that's, that's a shot. I did not think Germany was gonna do yeah. that. Then the Habsburgs are coming back. So. Oh crap! Are they? God. Yeah, they're strengthening the monarchy. Oh god, this would be a fun one. That means I gotta hit these guys fast. I mean, well, actually, not necessarily, because Poland will join. Poland will make its own faction, typically. So, as long as I get done with Poland and Latvia and all of them before that occurs, I should be able to just swarm <laughs> west and kill them. And if I declare war on Finland, probably roughly around the same time, it'll fall into the same problem because Finland will join the Polish faction. All right, yeah, America went New Deal, so are the it same. always goes New Deal. The only difference is it'll it just doesn't elect uh, Roosevelt. Okay, getting anti -tank. Public demands rearmament. Oh, I agree, guys. Thank you. Seven French people. Industry. Oh, yeah, getting anti tanks. Got to prepare for the German invasion. I'll have time at least. Maybe I'll actually be able to do my invest in my country focuses because those give oh so goodies. <laughs> I miss getting my plus two political power. It's... Oh, I can do be begin rearmament right away. I'm holding out to get war mobile or er, war economy. I can get it so quick; it doesn't matter to me. Well, yeah, because <gasps> Yugoslavia comrades. Oh, Welcome we'll have the... a we'll have the big we'll have three. Welcome to the union. Uh, poor Hitler, dying so quick. Yeah, Britain's going democratic still. So. Oh, are they? That'll make it at least interesting. Alright. Strengthen the Polish oh, state. At least with rearmament, I can put a bunch of factories on artillery as well. <laughs> I didn't think about this, but in theory, because I'm, because I'm communist, I could just go send my troops into Germany and give them support to fight the military junta. And then you would, ha and then if they won, you would see a Germany with uh, the most overpowered default. Because <laughs> look at that! Imagine a Germany with the goes militarism and military youth. 
Yeah, Germany. That would, would have be to the it. that'd be the most overpowered game I would ever see in my life. You wouldn't have to get off. You'd never have to get off of uh, limited conscription. You literally would just be sitting there. Well, the purge is almost done. I got about ten days left. Do you, uh, who do you purge? I always get rid of Khrushchev and, and I always save the guy who's the armor genius. Oh, I do too. Well, actually, no, I can't say that. Uh, oh yeah, I save him. Oh yeah, I do save him. Alright, NKVD is done. I'm immediately going to start going down and prove the railway. Transpolar fights, ocean going navy, PCDI, and go anti-fascist and immediately start getting my claims. Luckily, the uh, infrastructure, the new rail lines are getting built up towards Finland are on the go. I move all the navy. This is how I usually always do it. I get the infrastructure built first because if I build that up there, I don't have to ever care about supply situations. Get sieves done. After sieves, focus on the other. I like how the fact that T and the A in Military Junta was able to overstep uh, itself in the Germans. Yeah, they think this is a pretty fast civil war. Do Hi Himmler, how are you doing? If they just take Breslau, it's pretty much gone. Or Stettin. That's the thing, anytime I do the civil war in this, I'm, I'm kind of just sitting there in the west for a while. Like, I have to spend like three or four months like uh, getting better troops out, and then immediately I just storm oh. east. Usually what I do is, I take Poland and Lithuania beforehand, so half of Germany's forces are always there. And also, I switch all my units to one RD battalion, and then switch mine back, so I just steamroll them. Because I'm cheap. It's, it's really Jewish. And it works. And then my Civil War... Well, usually, by that point, though, my Civil War is in 38, but it finishes by 38. <laughs> That's when, like, fascist Germany joins. <laughs> it just joins Britain. <laughs> Gets into the Allies, you're just sitting there just shaking your head like, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, this will be entertaining. Wait, Wilhelm? Oh. It's Democratic uh, Kingdom of Hungary. That's new. I have hardly ever see that. Wait, what? They went down the Democratic King path. Really? So they're going to be friendly to Sweden. Because it's the Swedish king. That's a that's a, on the that's a weird one. I've never seen them do that. Well, well. I never see the fascist or commun the fascist king or just the communist. Uh, yeah, I never I've see seen, a fa I've I've never seen seen democratic. The yeah, before. I've never seen the fascist one. I did. I always see him go invite the Habsburgs. Over. Well, if it does happen, I always see him go Habsburgs. So it's just like, well, we're already here. I'll probably be in the Allies, but oh, I'll grab that. I'm grabbing that guy for Carl the Cap Fifth. I'm going for Captain. He's now of the industry. king. See now, Sweden and Hungary are buddies because of dynastic ties. Carl the Fifth Wilhelm. I've never seen that guy. When do I get communists, dude? Okay. Oh. Soviet industry doing well. Keep it going. Let's see, if I put 24 divisions on Estonia, 24 in Latvia, 72 on Poland, easy approach west. Immediately try to get like 72 divisions up towards Finland, I should be able to invade them without a, any struggle. Or at least hold the line until I can get through them. Oh yeah, I got the new I got the new light tank from the BP sevens. Ocean going navy, transporter flights. Got the Matno agreements, goddamn. I know, they're just they're deadly. That's why I said I don't know how much I like playing wow. France. Like France is more interesting now, but I haven't really played them yet. I think I the, just the, the only thing, the only thing, got strong tree. yeah, the only thing I think I ever tried doing was I tried in theory to make a, um, I guess you could say, a, uh, 
regular democratic game, but I think I did what? Revive the national? Now is revive the national? I only even do democratic or monarchist. I just don't. I feel like a fascist branch just seems really weird. Yeah, I think I tried doing the um. Because I, I don't know what the historical one is. Is the historical one form the popular front, or is it revive the national block? No, they go with the popular front, but they still um go oh. down the democratic line and don't oh. do it like communist ministers. And then they go for buy time, go with Britain. Oh, okay, because I know when I played, I just go revive the national block, and then I just start running down all that better. stuff. No, I'm going to start... Oh my god, it is better. Reform the labor laws and that mad no agreements are permanent? Jesus Christ, that just sounds cancerous. Yeah, my, I have to do it. Oh yeah, I forgot, I gotta get the SU-2s. Oh, I can revoke the mad no agreements. Okay. Excellent idea. Uh, but I don't have political Russia's protest, Russia's prestige so. grows larger. Don't worry. I did. I did the meme thing. I got Sockland now. Yeah, and what? Sockland. Oh. They're going fascist or communist, but Japan never wins that civil war. So you they do it too you're, early. Are you kidding me? Which one? The Japanese People's Republic or regular Japan? No, the Japanese People Republic barely win. Because they can never take Tokyo, and Japan has still most of their navy in the communist. Because they do the communist one too early. They have to wait. It's the same deal with the Democratic. They never wait to do the preemptive coup, because I always wait till they have like 50% support so that Japan is mostly mine. Alright, let's just jump straight. Haha. Don't worry, I got their backs. I'm in. Wow. Okay, we got that in. Go ahead and jump on radio. <laughs> I love having an OP. Being a little OP with my guys. Cheap. All right, start training. We have the guns. We can be doing. Now let's do battlefield. Actually, no. We're gonna do operational integrity this time. Found the PCI anti-fascist diplomacy. Oh my god, I hate the AI. I, I think I found the way why Japan always loses. You want to know how they always lose? Why? So instead of keeping their army like on parts of the front, they literally just run away, send them to another section, and then the regular Japanese just go in and kill them because they're never guarding all the territory. I literally seen these guys. They were like perfect. They were perfect. They were golden. They're ready to go. Immediately, I just see troops from, like, central northern Japan disappear, go somewhere else, and they never came back. And then the other guys just pushed in. Then they abandoned Ahsoka, went in, killed them, <laughs> took it, and then it circled all their divisions and it couldn't do anything. But wait a minute, doesn't that mean, uh... They're able to guide Zimbatsu. Well, actually, no, that's not good for them, because that civil war means they wasted their resources, and regular China, if it does subjugate the warlords, means it'll take over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I also have Spain. Spain. You want 100 guns a month? I don't know what tree they're going down. I don't either. I just oh, they're going down the... They're actually going down their communist tree instead of maintain the republic. That's good. I'm so that means guns. either they can become your puppet, or they will be free. Hey, Spain, you want some volunteers? I got a hundred planes if you want them. Well, just check their tree. If they go down the Stalinist Doctrine, that means you get them as a puppet. I don't care what I get them as. I'd rather see them win. 
because it means they might try to go to war with other territories, which again is to my advantage. Okay, I want that and give me a hundred of my strategic bombers. Let's see, what are we going down? What are we going down? We going down? I don't need any more of that. Focus on getting infantry defense equipment. Get and another carrier. <laughs> I'm gonna bomb national nationalist Spain. Respect my authority. Well, they're trying to bring the Kaiser back, and I'm just gonna let them. <laughs> I thought you were gonna, just gonna sit there and go, I'm going to kill them. <laughs> nah, I need to become a Kami first. I mean, in theory, your French army right now can literally just kill them. See? Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> you know I'm Issue right. A diplomatic objection. The Kaiser returns. Okay, we got that going for us. I vote for industrial concerns. Maybe we get engineered companies, get motorized. I'm gonna try to get my light tank divisions going. thousand guns a month to the Chinese. Even if they die, I'll get a ton of army experience for this. Wow, Nash Nash nationalists are getting their ass kicked. Jesus. Surprisingly enough, regular Spain has actually formed a like fortified little bunker up in the north. Quite oh god. my god. Well, the Anarchists are in power. Hey, with the Anarchists in, in control, I actually can still can keep my troops in Madrid. Oh my god, that's no, a it's big No, it's the Spanish anarchist. commune that won. And wow, so really? the communists did a civil war on the Democrats, and I'm pretty sure... Wow, that's a big one. Oh god, Port in regular Portugal is a war with them too. Oh, cool, my civilian factories are actually almost done. I got two, four, six, eight, nine. Eight now. I built 20 of those little bastards. All right, let's get a communist supporter. Eh, I'm not making motorized divisions that work this to me. Uh, what else can we focus on right now? Uh, I could go for, eh, you know what, I'll rush for a T, I'll rush for a T-32. Yeah, I thought those were the Anarchists that actually just spawned in. I can't believe it's the Spanish nah. Commune. Soldiers. Alright. So, some of my men left to go help the commies. Good. That's fine by me. That just gives me more. Good. I don't know what focus they're going now. But... Mm, I couldn't tell you. All I know is I have my planes in Madrid, and they're just doing massive bombing campaigns in north uh, western Iberia. I know France is. I know normal Spain's trying to request aid from me. Hopefully, they get it done in time because I'd love to get more communism off them. Oh, my army XP is just skyrocketing. Oh God, there's a Carlist uprising. <laughs> Awesome. That's the, the, I, all I gotta say is this war here, my god, it is immense. What is this? This is a one, two, three, four way civil. It's, it's a four way war going on right now. Yeah, that's what Spain usually devolves into. Spanish Commune versus Spain. Carlos Spain versus Spain. Carlos Spain versus Nationalist Spain. Nationalist Spain gets everybody. I'll send them a thousand Portug times. Portugal at war with Spain. Spanish commune. Ooh, Spanish commune just took eight states. Impressive. Well, since I can actually build these things, I'm gonna try to rush out some light tanks down there. So I'll go force the issue. I 
can become communist. Oh, thank God. So close. That is... Yeah, sure. Wow, I actually got these built faster than I did in the other game. I'm just maxing my military factories out. I got about... I only got four more factories to build and I'm done with that. Um, we're currently in 38. I vote for medium tank designer. And our artillery is already getting done. Those guys are getting done. I vote for... Okay. Oh yeah, Spanish Commune is winning now. I'll be sending them support here and... I don't know one. Oh yes, we got the close air support point now too. Approved the stall line, claimed the Baltics. stuff right now. I'm just going to try to get it done. Cav. Please, cavalry. Alright. Cavalry divisions are done. They can go start guarding everything. <laughs> 